Hello everyone, it is Martha here with you. So today we are going to be working on another episode in the mini album basics series. And now uh, today I'm gonna show you how to do a envelope style closure page in a mini album. So we're going to be working on these um, pages. So I will link to these pages um, below. So these are from the last uh, installment, which is how to do simple pop-ups um, in your mini albums. And I am slowly just creating a book with these pages. And then once we have the pages done, then we can do the, um, we will put a book together. So that's these two pages. So we're gonna be working on the back of the page with uh, this pop-up. Okay, and again, I'm going to link that below for you guys so you can find that. But we're going to be working on the back of this page. So you are going to need your pattern paper for this. And we are using, for this book that I'm doing, we are using the Wild Love Collection from uh, Photo Play. So it's an older collection um, I actually, I ordered one and uh, I accidentally ordered two of them. So that is what I'm using. Um, I think I'm going to get away with just one of the collections. I don't think I'll need two. Um, but it, there are 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided designer cardstock and one sheet of um, the stickers. And we are going to be using the stickers today. So um, I am gonna give you an alternative. You definitely don't have to have a sticker sheet to do this, but I used um, these two stickers. So I used the Hello Wild one and then the Love You. And all I did is I took them out and I stuck them onto a piece of cardstock and I just did like a little like 16th of an inch border all the way around. Um, and this is what I'm gonna be using for my envelope closure. However, you can use any shape. Um, you can, if you have dies, you can cut yourself a circle um, with your dies, or you could legitimately take, you know, a, a bottle, a glue bottle of some kind or something like that, and just trace the lid and cut it out. Okay, you do not need dies. You do not need stickers to do this. Um, those are just easier options. Okay, and you're also going to need two small brads or I guess whatever size brads you want. I wanted to use small ones for this and then some sort of um, twine. This is embroidery thread and I do like to use embroidery thread because it's thin and it doesn't add unnecessary bulk to my pages, okay? So I am still using the same teal colored cardstock. It's 65 pound teal cardstock from Michaels. Uh, so you're going to need one sheet or one piece that measures four and seven eighths by six. And on the six inch side, you're just going to score it at half an inch. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish this. Now these sizes are correlated with the page size. So if you want to do, obviously in a different book, if you want to do an envelope style closure, all you do is you measure the width of your, um, your piece. So mine measures five inches. My pages are five by seven, okay? So for yours, just measure the width. And what I like to do for my envelope styles is I like to go down just an eighth of an inch, okay? So this is an eighth of an inch narrower than my page, right? My page is five inches and I went with four and seven eighths, okay? Just for some nice clearance, right? And then Really, the top and bottom flaps can be any uh, any size. So this is my bottom flap, and then this is the top flap, right? So I like to I like to have it come down at least an inch and a half over the bottom flap, right? So this the size of this once this is folded is five and a half, right? And then our my top flap it's four by four and seven eighths, so it's the same width as the bottom flap. And then I scored it on the four inch side at half an inch, right? So my completed flap is three and a half by four and seven eighths, right? So once they're folded and on here, it comes over the top one 
about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters, okay? So that's about the size, that that's about as much as I like them to come over each other. Um, but you could have it come down further, uh, but I wouldn't go shorter. This is just kind of the look that I like, okay? So before we attach these, we're basically going to um, assemble them, right? So for the top flap, you need a piece of your pattern paper and the pattern paper measures for the, in this instance it measures three and a quarter by four and five eighths but again you would measure your flap that you're doing in your page and then just go down a quarter inch on both sides okay so it measures three and a quarter by four and five eighths and i chose this cute little um heart paper so i'm going to show you an easy hack for how to make your your lines line up perfectly if I can find a scissor. So what you need to do, I like to do this with my pattern paper before I attach it. There's no measuring involved. It's just super, super simple. So there's two things you can do. You can use a scissor and snip your edges, right? So you can just use a scissor and I'm going to just do a little tag cut here and a little tag cut here, okay? So I literally, I did not measure anything, I just docked those corners, right? If you have any kind of a punch that does that angle cut for you, you can definitely use this. So this is the We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile, and um, I this is the one that has the angle and the photo, and I'm gonna use the angle and just snip there, okay? So if you have this, use it or any other kind of angle punch. This one has the photo one on the other side. So that's like this and that would also look cute, right? But I'm just gonna do a simple angle cut on my pattern paper. So now what we need to do is you need to get yourself something that you can poke into. I just have some felt here, just a couple layers of felt. And I'm gonna use my little sticker uh, backed with cardstock that says hello wild one and I'm just going to place it pretty much centered on here you can place it wherever you can you can place it here and then place your other little sticker just imagine that this one's down here you can place your other one here like on this side and have your string go diagonally um, or you could do it the way I'm going to do it, which is just simple up and down. You could go this way. It's really, really um, your choice how to do it, okay? So we're going to start with the top one, and I am just going to put this in the middle. And since this says Hello Wild one, I was thinking it'd be cute to put the bread where the eye is so that um, we're not covering any of the words. So just put it wherever you want it. And then I've got a poking tool here. So you can use any kind of poking tool. And I'm going to poke right through that eye all the way through my, my all my layers. And I'm going to go all the way down with my poking tool because I need a, a bigger hole there. And then I'm going to put my brad in. If these nails will let me do that. And just put it through the back so there it just looks like an eye <laughs> the top of an eye and then open that up on the back and then my little tool here this is a recollections one it has kind of this end so I kind of like to use that to really flatten this out on the back just like this so that's the top one done. So it's only attached with the brad. Do not glue this down, okay? So now what we can do is we can take our top flap. And first of all, let's go ahead and um, a miter our little corners here. So we miter from the score line out, not into the score line. And this is just to reduce bulk and hide construction. And then this, we're just going to glue this right onto here. So I'm just going to use my beacon glue to do that because that's what I like to use for layering because it doesn't wrinkle my 
cardstock or anything. Just get a nice layer of glue. Make sure you get some right on your brad. And then place it right onto this. Make sure it's centered. And then all you need to do is take your scissor and cut across these corners, just leaving the same size border as you have everywhere else. So how super simple, right? No measuring, no stress. All right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and glue this onto our page. So make sure that your flap on the other side opens down here like this. And flip it over and it's going to get attached along the top here so I, like i said we've already done our mitering for construction i like to use my art glitter glue so just get a good amount on your little flap just like this and then just center it in and it'll have about a sixteenth of an inch on both sides, but just center it into the top of your page. Just like this. And then you can open it up and burnish that. All right, so just like this. And the reason why we don't poke all the way through, like to put the brad back here is because then we have to cover the back of the flap and you might want to cover it, but sometimes I like to have the option to not cover it. So I like to just poke through my, uh, whatever embellishment I'm using here and then through my uh, pattern paper. Okay. So now for the bottom flap, we're going to do, first of all, let's miter this guy too, just so that's done. We're gonna just pretend we're attaching it here, line it up. Um, you can put your pattern paper on there too for your, uh, again, we're not attaching it yet. We're just guess, we're just doing some placement work. All right, so I think I want my sticker about right here. Okay, so then just hold it in place and grab your poking, whatever you're poking into. And I'm gonna poke just in the center of it here. And again, all the way through, and then take it all the way down your poking tool so that your brad has somewhere to go. And then just put it all the way through open those at the back and then like I said I like to use this end of the tool but you can just use your fingernails whatever you'd like and now we're going to just attach this to our flap same way so again just using my beacon glue get it right on that brad too and we'll just attach it right there. Super simple. All right, so now this is just gonna get glued onto here. So I'm again just gonna use my Arc Litter glue. I just put it in this smaller bottle just cause I find it more manageable that way. And I'm gonna place it down here and you can close the top flap and make sure you're lined up, which we appear to be, so that is good. And just attach it right along the bottom. And then you can open it up, give it a burnish. All right. And now all we have to do is add our twine. For the closure so what I like to do I like to get it out and don't even cut it off yet 
So I like to put it under one side of my top piece and knot it underneath. Just do one tie like this and then come up the top and tie it again. And the reason I like to do this is because then it's tied from both sides around my brad. So it really helps to secure that brad underneath. Okay, just like this. Then you can snip off the excess here. And then this, let's give myself some more here. This comes underneath the circle down here and then up and under here again. And you can go as many times as you want. I'm just gonna go, I think just once is enough. But you can go around as many times as you'd like. And then I'm just gonna snip it off right here. And that's it. That is totally secured now. And like I said, you can use anything that you would like for, for your little like mechanism pieces. You literally, the world is your oyster, um, whatever you have in your collections. Um, the only thing I would say like to, to kind of avoid are things that have like things like this because your string can kind of get caught in all those little crevices but like little hearts or even these critters could absolutely work and I might even do that later on in the book um, but that's it guys that is how simple and easy that is um, like I said just do all your measurements for whatever you're working on and it's going to turn out uh, perfectly so that is the front of our little page done and the back and like I said, I will uh, post a link below to the video on how to do um, these pop-ups, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love if you did. Um, also, if you comment and um, give me a like, it really helps my channel um, just because of YouTube algorithms and everything. So I would really appreciate that. And if you haven't yet joined my Create with Martha, Martha Tucker Facebook group, um, we have a lot of fun in there. I can link that below for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.